Hi, Naz. Hi. Welcome to the PLT Podcast. Thank you for having me. It is so nice to have you here. All the way from LA. All the way from LA. I've been here for probably, I'm approaching a week. Wow. What have you been doing during yes. your time in Manchester <laughs> then? Come <laughs> on. I'm excited to hear it. So we went to the Richmond Tea Room. Nice. Yeah, so like afternoon tea? Yes. How was it, your experience of afternoon so tea? So fun. Yeah. And that place is so cute. You know, it's like very cute. Alice in Wonderland themed. Mm-hmm. And the food's really good. The tea. So we had a good time. Yeah. Yeah, and then we went out, you know. Tell me about your night out. Come on, let's hear it. I want to know what happened. Where did you go? So for dinner, we're, okay, we went to, how do you pronounce it? Is it Russo? Rosso. 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 I think some people say Rosso. Okay, okay, so, yeah, okay, Rosso. so we went there. That was actually one of my favorite meals I've Rosso. had. Oh my God, it was yes. amazing. Big up Rosso. Amazing, yes. <laughs> I highly recommend going there. There we so, go. So, so good. So we went there, and then we went to Live Nightclub. Club Live, yeah, yes. Okay. Everyone in Manchester right now will be stood up clapping for this. They're <laughs> so, so we went They're going to be so happy you went. We had a great time, <laughs> and then right after, we walked over to History. Oh, my God. You made a proper night of it. Yeah. And literally, the drinks would not stop <laughs> showing up at the table. That's good to know. It was cr- That's, That should be how it is in Manchester. At, oh, and it was. You guys <laughs> showed us a really, really good time. And we definitely will want to come back and do it again. Well, please come back and do it again, because I missed it this time. I so know. Next time. No, and everybody has to come with us yeah, next sure. time. This is really fun. Sure. So we want to get to know you today, so kind yes. of from the beginning. And I want to start really with your career. Okay. So you're described as a natural born performer. Mm-hmm. And you moved to LA at 18 years old, was it? I did. So I grew up about 30 minutes outside of LA in the oh, valley. Okay. So not too far. So you were kind of in yes. anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I grew up driving into LA and then going, you know, back home. Yeah. Um, I grew up in a very small town. So, you know, going to LA as a kid, you're like, wow, this place is huge. Yeah. Um, but I always knew I wanted to eventually leave Valencia, that's where I'm from, oh, and move into the city. Wow. So I and turned was... 18, left high school, graduated, and was like, I need to get out of here. Yeah. And I did that, yeah. And what was yeah. the plan? Like, was it to go and build your acting career? Because I thought. Yes, that was the okay. plan, yes. Um, the plan was to leave, and I actually I got a full time job um, in retail. No way. To pay, I, yeah, I yeah, mean, I had to pay, pay my pay. rent, mm-hmm. I had to, you know, pay my bills. Cause yeah. My parents were not supporting me at that time. And wow. so um, the second I moved, I was on my own completely. And I got a, a job, and during my breaks, I would go to my castings. Oh my I had God. girls that would that were really sweet would cover my shifts, and I would go and and do my thing and come right back and work. That's quite amazing because I think yeah. in the acting industry, it's so difficult to be able to support yourself financially yeah. when you're trying to make it and go to these auditions. It's it's extremely difficult, and especially you know living in LA is not cheap. No, you know what I mean. Like it's not cheap at all. So it's really important to find if you can you know those workplaces that support the bigger picture Mm -hmm. and I was lucky that I did yeah yeah and so were you living on your own at the time yeah at 18 Mm -hmm. how was that just sort of getting thrown into the big world really I I mean to be honest I was kind of forced to in a way Um, my parents got divorced when I turned 18 Okay. So it was one of those situations where I was like, I need to get out of here. Yeah. It's it was shocking first of all because mm. we never saw them argue or anything like that. Wow. Um. So I knew I had to get out of that environment, mm-hmm. and I had a plan. And you know, your plan doesn't always go as planned, no, right? You it. have your goals, but you know, life's crazy. Yeah. So. I got that job and went to my casting, still had photo shoots on the weekends when I wasn't working. Mm-hmm. It was, I was constantly on the go, so. So when did it all really begin to take off for you? Because I actually remember you when did in it begin? That's So Raven. Yes. That was so a big show. It was. Tell me about it, that. That was my first big professional acting wow. gig. Um, I was 16. Oh, so that so, was even before you moved. Yeah, that was before I moved out. Yeah, oh my yeah, yeah. God. That well, okay, was, so we need to rewind yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was before I, I moved out. I actually um I was on American Idol the year before that. Wow. And I got kicked off, I think it was like top thirty five. Wow. Uh, and it was their first season. So nobody knew how big that show was no. gonna be. Like nobody had any idea. Like we were standing in line with 
thousands of people, but none of us knew the impact the show was going to make, yeah. you know? And what a big show it's still, it's yeah. still going, isn't it, American Idol? I think it's back, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, you just go to these things and you're like, oh, it's another talent show and who knows who's going to watch yeah. and, like, you know, discover you and what you're going to learn. Yeah. And I learned a lot. Um, but right after that, um, I was cast in That So Raven. Wow. And then I graduated high school, and then that's when I, like, moved out and was like, okay, I'm going to do acting. Mm -hmm. And then life got crazy. So. Wow. Yeah. So when you were in That So Raven, were you still mm -hmm. in high school at the time? Yes. So I how was, was that? I was a jun junior in high school. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was a junior. And oh what did God. your classmates think? Um, I would get a lot of questions. Yeah? You know, it's a lot of times it was like, well, so how's Raven or how, you know, oh they God. always want to know, like, how other people yeah. are and how the experience is. But um, during my whole high school experience, I was in and out of school anyways. Yeah, so you must have been really busy, like, trying to, yeah. I guess it's kind of, is it exam period when you're 16? Because for us, that's like GCSEs, I feel. I have to remember. Is, so our GCSEs, they're like our end of high school exams. I hope oh, I'm saying so this that's right, what it's you been guys a while called. for me too okay. as well. Yeah, so like, did you, was that like a busy point of your, your school? Mine was, I pretty much got all my credits my junior year. Okay. Yeah, and then senior year, I remember it being a little more relaxed as far oh, as school. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. I would just pretty much go to school for, I was really big in choir and like, and yeah. drama, so I was... I'd start school at 7 a.m. and take the extra classes in the morning because I loved yeah. choir so much. Yeah. I was a choir nerd. So that, I mean, high school was, it was, I was in and out. Okay. Yeah, a lot. So you're really big into singing, yeah. acting, My modeling whole life. as well. Mm -hmm. When did it all kind of like, is it something you've just been born with? How did you no. realize what talent you had? I remember being really young and music was always playing at my house, mm -hmm. always. My, mm -hmm. my parents loved music. Um, they always encouraged me to sing. And I just remember being really young and just naturally performing and yeah. singing in the house or like putting my own talent shows together or plays wow. or like, I just remember being like five or six and doing these things. And like, I would set up photo shoots in my house with like a sheet no. As a backdrop. And my brother had like a fake camera that squirts water. <laughs> and like he would like take pictures and I would play Madonna and like oh it was God. like a whole thing. So I've always just really been into it. Yeah. Yeah. And it, little did you know you'd end up where you are now doing real photo shoots right, for like to vote. Right. You know, with PLT as a PLT brand ambassador. Exactly. I feel like at this point in my life, which I know this is going to sound kind of weird but mm. I feel like I'm just starting really yeah I feel like I've lived like a couple lives when it comes to certain things yeah. and I feel like I'm just I'm just starting like I'm just starting to like mm -hmm. lift and take off so there must in be many some ways. pretty exciting things coming I've seen that you've been in yeah. two huge movies this year yeah I mean can this, you tell us anything about these it it's kind of crazy because the last three years I really got back into acting so I mm -hmm. got myself in a class Wow. And I started going really, really hard in, in auditions. Mm -hmm. And so the past three years have been like hit and miss with castings. And I've heard so many no's. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, she's not tall enough. Oh, we're going for a different look. Oh, yeah. we need her to read that. Like, it's been every, I've mm -hmm. heard everything in the book. And I don't know what it was, but like January hit of this year. And I... I was like, okay, I booked this new horror movie that's coming out. Wow, a horror movie. Yeah, oh my God, and which exciting. is like off the bucket list, you know? Yeah, like, that's a I, big one, especially yeah, for actors. Like, exactly. you want to do these different types of things. And it was, I'm so into like horror movies. Yeah. And, you know, that's something I'm like, oh, I got to do that one day. And I did it, and it was oh so fun. God. Like, it's, it was one of those experiences where I was like, am I really going to be scared? Or like, how is this going to yeah. pan out? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's nothing like anyone would think. Really? No. No. Can you tell us any more about it? I, I can't tell you about the film, but I can tell you about my experience. It's not as scary at all. Like, okay. At all. At like, all. Like, no. <laughs> like, there's, it's like, like this. There's just people sitting around <laughs> and the killer walks in. It's just no. not what you think at all. <laughs> Um, so you really got to go there as an actor. And yeah, and just see it. Yeah, yeah. you can't, nobody, like, nobody else is in the room. Like, wow. this is, is really happening. Mm -hmm. So I had a good time. Wow. Like, a really, really good time. So that was one of my favorite. Um, and then right after that, unexpectedly, I booked another film, and it was, mm -hmm. it's actually going to be my first 
a lead in a feature <gasps> film. So yeah, how exciting! It's, it's so exciting. Congratulations! Thank you. It like came out of nowhere, yeah. and I learned a lot from this film. Wow. Like I feel like this film. It's called The Last Conception. Mm -hmm. It's based off of a, a book. Right. Okay. Um, I feel like it was a boot camp for me as an actor, and it, it's priceless. It's really helped you. Yeah, it's it really, really helped me. Like, I, as far as, you know, my acting muscle and my stamina as an actor yeah. and learning, you know, even set etiquette. Yeah. It was, I had to just be on point. Mm -hmm. The whole time. The whole time. And I carried the film. Mm -hmm. So there was no, I had no excuses. Like, there was just no, like, no, you need to be there. You need to be there on time. You need to show up ready yeah. and your lines memorized. There was just no room for excuses. So, it was literally a boot camp. Wow. And there were times where I was like, oh, my God, what did I sign up for? Mm. But it was so worth it. And with that, like, it sounds like it could be a stressful experience. It you is. Know, when you're trying to remember lines. No, it is. When you're trying to be on point all the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you said that you've kind of picked up your acting career again and you've gone to classes. So right. was it a bit daunting to go back and be like, okay, right, I'm acting again? Yeah. It, it was uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, because I also, and this is just being completely honest, mm -hmm. I, part of me was like, am I, because I went back in at like 28 mm -hmm. and I was like, is 28, can I start over at this age? Mm -hmm. And as an actor, like you can't. Yeah, of course. At, yeah. At, at any age you can book work, which yeah. is the beauty of acting. That's it. You know, and yeah. I had to really tell myself like, no, like, what are you talking? Like, get out of your head, mm -hmm. stop it, go in there and really, you know, work on your craft. Yeah. You know, I, I want to just be more than like a face. I want to be an amazing actor. And so I knew that I had to go back. Wow. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. And can yeah. you tell us anything about that movie? Uh, Last Conception? Yes. I'm, hmm. <laughs> She's I'm holding like, it what back. Can, what or can about I your character? What can you give us? My character. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can say this. Oh, yes. I play a lesbian. Really? Yes, and I think that okay. that is going to shock a few people. Oh, we <laughs> even your we, we can talk about this, yeah, because do you know what? Yeah. It's, it's like, you know, I know you're not a lesbian. Right. So, how was it? Like, to play, because as an actor, uh -huh. people don't realize that is it, it must be hard. I mean, I know you're acting, it's not necessarily you. You know, it, yes, there were moments of uncomfortability mm -hmm. because. I got cast in the film and like a week later had to go on set. Wow. So there was no room to get to know my girlfriend in the movie. And so wow. right away it was like, okay, you guys are together. You guys got to get in this headspace. Like you guys got to kiss. You guys got to be in these situations. Like yeah. it was, you know, you just really have to like go for it. You really got no time to process it whatsoever. No, I didn't. No. And and in normal situations, um you know, they you would have some time to get mm -hmm. some chemistry going, you know what I mean? Or yeah. like at least get comfortable as friends. Yeah, like, that's it. You could have met before like had coffee right. or something. We didn't. We couldn't. I didn't have time. It was it was so crazy. So I showed yeah. up Monday morning and it was like <gasps> That's your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, it was oh crazy. Oh my God, I can't even imagine that. Yeah. Like, I literally can't even imagine. And it how... was a whole different experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least you can say you've, you've been there. At least you I know, can say I did if it. You hadn't already, you've done it now. No, but it was actually crazy <laughs> because after I wrapped that movie, yeah. I started getting all these castings for lesbian no. roles. Yeah, I don't no. know I attracted it. I, <laughs> I was like, you guys, I called my agent. I'm like, I mean, this is amazing. I don't care. Yeah, That's I mean, it's awesome. Cool. I don't care. Mm. But I'm like, what's happening? Is the industry changing? Like, what is, what's yeah. happening? So I think the industry is, you know, changing and it's growing and yeah. people are becoming way more comfortable. And I love that. So yeah, definitely. for me to play that, it, I, I, I love it. It's definitely like a tick off your sort of CV, isn't it? You know, you've done that. Yeah, exactly. So if I ever get cast as a lesbian again, there you I'll go. be You've been more there, done it. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. And what, what more can we sort of expect? We've got two big movies to look forward to. Uh -huh. What else is coming for your acting career? Um, in terms of acting, I also booked the show The Young and the Restless. <gasps> So, you know, that show's oh been around God. for a very long time. Yeah. That was definitely a goal of mine. I auditioned for that show for at least two years no before way. I booked the part. It, it's been a process. Yeah. I've heard 
every reason and every no. Mm -hmm. And finally, actually, while I was filming The Last Conception, I auditioned for The Young and the Restless. We wow. did my tape at like midnight, sent it in the next day, and I didn't hear from them for almost like two weeks. God. So I figured, again, I didn't book it, and I was yeah. like, whatever, I need to focus on this movie. Uh, but I got a call, and it was between me and another girl. And they're like, we'll find out tomorrow. Just fingers crossed you oh got it. God. Like, And I ended up booking it. Wow. Yeah, so oh God, congratulations. Thank you. It's It's been an amazing, amazing experience. So when did you start so, filming for that? We, st I started filming. Okay, so I wrapped, I wrapped the movie, yeah. The Last Conception. Mm -hmm. Three days later, we filmed my music video for my single that's coming out. And then the next day, I was on set for Young and the Restless. So it kind of just all happened like this. I haven't really slept much. How, I was going to say, how <laughs> like, are you even here right now, Naz? You're doing I, so much. I haven't really slept. We haven't stopped, but I'm grateful. That is incredible. I'm really, really grateful. Like, I love to work, yeah. and I love to keep going. When I'm not, when I have a, a still mind, it's not good. Yeah. Yeah, I need to, like, keep moving. So I'm so grateful. I want to keep moving. Um, but it's been really amazing. Wow. Well, we can't yeah. wait to see you in everything that you do. doing. Thank you. Now, you mentioned before how, you know, it's been a process, what you've been doing. Right. With, I, said, I just said process. Isn't that US? Process. It's been a process. <laughs> I never pronounced it process. I told you it was going to happen. We're um, rubbing been, off on that's you. That's it. It's I mean, I, I love the LA lifestyle. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a process for you, you know, going through those big movies that you did and, yeah. you know, the one character that was a little bit out of your comfort zone, maybe. A lot. Out of my comfort zone. A lot out of your, of your comfort zone. So... Do you think that's kind of prepared you now for the big, for the next jobs to come? Yes, it has prepared me for everything, to be honest. Wow. You know, from that experience, uh, it has taught me overall just to be fearless in wow. those kinds of situations. Yeah. And I needed to be pushed, especially as an actor. Mm. Um, you just got to jump in. Yeah. You got to jump in and you got to have fun with it. And, but be professional and, you know, show up and do mm -hmm. your thing and be prepared. Mm -hmm. But overall, it has taught me to be fearless and to take that attitude into everything that I'm yeah. doing. So Wow. Yeah. And before we move on to the kind of next subject, I want to just ask, you know, you spoke about kind of getting no's from some from some castings, which yeah. is expected, actors doing it's a big thing. You hear more about. no's than yeses. yeses but yeah. how, how is that going through that? It can be very discouraging, to mm. be honest. It, you know, sometimes you feel like, am I meant to do this? Am I good yeah. enough? What's missing? What can I be doing differently? But honestly, keep working hard. You know, don't take any shortcuts. Yeah. You're not going to get there. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it won't, you won't have the longevity. And that's how I look at it. Yeah. When you take the shortcuts, you're not going to have the longevity. So work hard. Were you know be in class? That's a big thing. Yeah. I'm still in class. I have a class like three times a week. So, wow. um, you know, and stay focused. And it's important that even when you hear a no, what's meant to be yours will be yours eventually. Ooh, you know, that's a nice one. Yeah, like it's that. one of those things that you can't fight it. No, you know, mm -hmm. and there are especially in the acting world, there are so many reasons to get a no. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah. You don't know what they're looking for. Exactly. You know, Sometimes they just have an image in their head before you even walk before in, and you, you're not that image. Oh my gosh. Or even, you know, casting directors, it, it could be a personal thing. You don't yeah. know, you know, you don't know. You, As an actor, you could remind them of somebody they don't like and, yeah. and it could shift wow. their mentality. That's you know? all these things you don't even think about. No, and wow. you know, nowadays it's like you walk into a casting office and they're not all like this, but mm -hmm. I've had some where they're like, how many followers do you have? How's your social media? Like, the yeah. industry is changing. Yeah, because I was about and to say, that that's never really something I've thought of in that It's changing. Situation, but wow. Yeah, it's changing. So I guess social media is just changing the world, really, isn't it, it? it? Absolutely. It has made a huge impact on mostly everybody. You know, in a good and bad way. Yeah. It, it depends on what you want to do with it, right? Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's been a journey. And I've heard obviously way more no's than yeses, but it makes you stronger and more resilient, so. And you've got some big things yeah. coming out, so Thank we you. cannot wait for that. Thank you. So I want to touch a bit more on your modeling career. So you've yeah. modeled for the likes of Vogue, and I mentioned your PLT brand ambassador. Yes. So for anyone that's listening that doesn't know 
exactly what a PLT brand ambassador is. Could you explain to me what it is like to be? What it's like to be yeah. one? Yeah, like what, oh. what you kind of do. I mean, I could explain it, but let's, let's no, hear no, it from no. the source. So as a brand ambassador, I do their camp- PLT's campaigns. Mm-hmm. We shoot once a month. We shoot really, really fun content. Yeah. The clothes are, you know, the clothes are, it's easy. It's honestly, you guys, it's easy. And it's fun yeah. and it's effortless. And it, PLT is a brand that celebrates women of all ethnicities, yeah. of all sizes. So it was a perfect fit for me. Mm-hmm. It really was. And it is. And I'm really, really happy to work with the team. And is that what kind of what made you first want to work with PLT? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You guys have had so many campaigns with you know, some of my friends yeah. and with people that, you know, are not cookie cutter. Yeah. You know, yeah. with mm-hmm. PLT, at least one person can relate to a brand ambassador that you have. Yeah. You know, it. and that's important. Yeah. It's important to look at a brand and say, oh, I'm like that girl. I can relate to that yeah. girl. You know, not just have this like cookie cutter one look. Yeah. You know, yeah, I agree I, it's just important. It's re- especially nowadays, mm-hmm. you know. And how does your modeling career kind of compare to your acting career? They must be kind of similar in some ways, but so different in I'm, others. I'm going to be honest with you. It, I never wanted to be like a model. Wow. That was never like, I, that was never like my, I'm going to be a model. Yeah. I was realistic. Like I'm only like 5'3". Five, 5'4 on like a good day. Yeah. Like there's like <laughs> I'm sure. Like there's I know how you feel. Yeah, five, you know, 52 on a good day. <laughs> ex- exactly. So, I think in this industry it's really important to be realistic with your goals, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And I knew that I was never going to do runway. There's just no way. Mm-hmm. And also like I'm not like anymore this like stick thin girl. Mm-hmm. So it's you have to pick the right lane for yourself. Mm-hmm. So I knew I could only take modeling so far. Yeah. And I enjoy it. It's fun. I've, you know, I've learned a lot about myself. Yeah. But it was never like the like, that's what I want to be. Like, I just never was like that. So if you had to choose one to focus on, would it be acting? Yeah. Yeah. Acting and, I, you know, I have music coming out. So yes. to me, that goes hand in hand. Yeah. You know, they Definitely. kind of feed each other Mm -hmm. but yeah at the end of the day acting is like my number one okay so let's talk about your music yes so you mentioned before that you starred on american idol i did and you've also starred on a few reality shows haven't you i have yeah um but your singing career is something that you are focusing on right now yes tell me a little bit about that that's been a long time coming like very very long i've been singing my whole life wow and i've been up and down with i was signed to this company i was yeah. gonna put this music out i was gonna do this and it never panned out wow ever and a lot has to do with me and mm-hmm. be in i was gonna say why fearful why do you think that is girl it's been a process of, yeah. of finding a sound or me thinking something's good enough and mm-hmm. then it's not and then i stop it and then it's been a lot so yeah. finally i got with amazing uh, an amazing writer her name's Mindy Ann, and we had great chemistry and then we found producers and the producer of my first uh single my first single is called forever mood oh, um he's actually from that. london no nice. yeah Stop. yeah his name's the code and we all just kind of clicked like he got the vision he knew mm-hmm. what i was going for obviously you know Mindy Ann, she knew it right away yeah and we just started working it was meant to happen that way. Wow. I really feel like it was meant to happen that way. Because all the other times, something was just not right. Yeah? Yeah. And now it's right. I'm so, so excited for you. I'm excited. So when can we expect your music? When's mm-hmm. it all coming? Forever Mood comes out July 12th. Hold on. So year. we've just got an exclusive then. Yeah. July 12th. So no one yeah. knows. Does, you've not announced that yet, have you? I was about to say, no. I've been scrolling your Instagram and I've not seen it yet. No. So that's an exclusive. So everyone listening, everyone, mm-hmm. let's look forward to that. Yeah. And we'll be able to listen to it everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Everywhere on every stream, streaming download, platform, yeah. you will be able to get this song. Um, and you'll definitely see it on my Instagram. The video's just yes. so good. And I'm really proud of it. This is actually my fourth video I've filmed. Yeah. The other three we just never put out. Wow. Because I was like, it's not good enough. It's I don't not like what you this. wanted. No. But it, now the vision is in place. It's there. 
like it is so there and it's so me and it's obvious and I'm really proud of it. I'm so excited. What can we expect from it? Can you tell us anything? Give us a little hint. What can you expect from the video? Yeah, and the song. I want to know both. I'm pushing you today. <laughs> okay, so what I can tell you, and I also think this is an exclusive too, yes. that Forever Mood is a is the answer to Miguel's first single, All I Want Is You. So it's me responding back to that song. Stop. Yeah. Right, to everyone listening, because so, the guys won't be able to see me on YouTube right now. I'm like... Sitting so back in my seat, shocked. You it's it's my reply to that. So I'm already yeah. obsessed. So that I can tell I can tell you that much about the song. Honestly, everyone listening, you yeah. can't see how obsessed I am right now because I just know it's gonna be a forever mood. It is. No, the song it, it's definitely like a summer jam. It's oh feel good. It's God. it's so many vibes and it's you know the context is, is really That's really so touching. cool that you can sort of work in that way to kind of relate back to Miguel, to your husband. Yeah, yeah. And it happened naturally. Again, the whole process just happened naturally. Like it was just something that once we started writing, it just kind of came. So, wow. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, I'm so excited for that. Thank and you. I know that everyone listening at home will be as excited as me. Thank so you. congratulations. Thank I can't you. wait for it to come out. Same. Now I want to talk a little bit about you and your body and your fitness. Because okay. you mentioned <laughs> your body before and kind of like how you've changed over the years. Uh-huh. And fitness seems to be, from an outsider's point of view, a huge part of your life. Yes. We it watch is. you working out on your stories yeah. like all the time. It's um a lifestyle for me completely. It, when did you first sort of get into it? I always worked out mm-hmm. off and on. Like through high school, you know, but it was never like... To a level. No, it was Mm -hmm. not to a level. It Mm -hmm. was, I'm going to go this week. I'm going to do, you know. Then It seems like you're on a level right now. No, no, no. Now it's it's a lifestyle. It was not a lifestyle before. It started to become a lifestyle. I started dabbling into it seriously, probably like 26. Okay. And then I kind of stopped for a little bit. And then I got super serious at like 29. And I was like, fitness is, it's a complete lifestyle for me, yeah. like mind, body, and soul. Like I yeah. need this for my anxiety. I need this to get, you know, release stress. I, yeah. I need this to feel good. Mm-hmm. And working out is my outlet mm-hmm. for that. And when so, did you realize that? Like, how did you realize that? Probably while I was going through therapy, um, I wanted to find besides therapy another mm-hmm. outlet to okay. to you know to release any kind of stress or tension or any overthinking that happens cuz yeah. i i overthink a lot so i started to realize while i was working out i was just in the moment and really focusing on what i was doing mm-hmm. so to me that was like okay this is something that i have to do the rest of my life and mm-hmm. there are many days where I do not want to work out. Like, don't get it twisted. Yeah. You see it on my story and I'm working out. You don't see the moments before where I'm like, I am like struggling to even put my shoe on because I really don't want to step into this wow. gym. Like, yeah. I don't want to do this. Like, mm-hmm. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I haven't slept. Like, but I show up. And you have a gym in your house, don't you? I do. That's where we always cool. see you work out. That must be amazing to be able yeah. to step into it. That I'm there. like very, very fortunate. Yeah. I know that. Um, it's something that really helps with my lifestyle. Mm, like, because you're so busy. How would you find the time to actually get a fitness, uh, like a class or, you I, know, a session right, in? Right, I would have to get up at like four in the morning. Every oh morning. my If God. I had to go somewhere, like it would be wow. a thing. Um, so I, I yeah, I am i don't even, I brush my teeth and throw whatever on and, yeah, and go. Like it. no cute gym clothes. I, I'm always like in t-shirts and like, I just don't give a damn. But I still like, always <laughs> manage to look really cute. Thank so. you. <laughs> I thank you. I appreciate that. But I I don't know. It's one of mm-hmm. those things where I'm like, that's my focus, mm-hmm. you know, just up in the morning. And yeah. after that, you know, make my juice and take care of the house and stuff like that. And you kind of said in the beginning it was for maybe like your mental health, yeah. to relieve stress, to relieve, relieve anxiety. Mm-hmm. But obviously the physical aspect of it hasn't left you in a bad way either. No, it so let's talk about that. <laughs> okay. Your body's incredible. Thank so how you. do you actually do it? I mean, I do a lot of weight training. Okay. I noticed when I was doing a lot of cardio, I was losing a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. And that was not my goal. That's not what you that wanted. It, I had a, a, a problem. So I was addicted to diet pills and it was something that oh, wow. 
Aww. was really ruining my my mental health and and anxiety. You know, those things yeah. spike your anxiety. Yeah. You're jittery, like it's a lot. Mm -hmm. So I knew in order for me to get off of that and to still feel good about myself mm. that I was gonna have to really start weightlifting and mm. you know, and putting in the work. Like it takes work. Yeah. And time. And time. Mm. And I wanted to do things naturally and like it was it was just really important for me to do mm. it that way. And I actually didn't know, you know, know that about you mm -hmm. that you were sort of going through yeah, yeah. but how did you realize, okay, this isn't healthy? Oh, I mean, I always knew it wasn't healthy. Really? Yeah, I always knew it wasn't. And and I, my breaking point, one of them, was when I had when I started taking like two a day. I was like, oh no, this we need to, this needs to stop. So I remember being in therapy with my husband, and mm. he didn't know the whole time. Like I hid this from everybody; nobody knew. Mm. And I just like said it, and he was like. Like what? Ha what? And it, it was a thing, and I knew I had to get off of it. Like I couldn't live like that anymore. And what do you think? Kind of made you be like that? Was it you know the pressures of the industry? Mm -hmm. Was it? It was. I put a lot of pressure on myself. I come from a place of growing up. And having even being a, ch a small child and mm. having to be on point always, mm. like I would come home from school and it was like homework, but then I had dance class and mm. acting and mm -hmm. music and like having to always be on point, which taught me a lot about discipline, yeah. which is why I am the way I am now, and I'm very grateful for it. Mm. But it also, at a young age, it puts this mindset mm. in you mm. where you need to be a certain way always. And you don't, you don't. You can have days where you're off. Yeah. Just don't stay there. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you can have off days. You can have days where you're imperfect and it's okay mm. because mm -hmm. no one's perfect. Because no one's perfect. Exactly. But I was going through these things where it was like, I need to be this way. And, and then, you know, having my husband, you know, being with him and, you know, in his fame and having mm. to be in the spotlight and look yeah. a certain way and, and show up a certain way. It was a lot. It was a lot going on. So And also, you know, you've got an incredible body. Thank Since you. I've been following you for a long time. Thank now, and I've you. Always, I've always thought you're, you, you're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. But society has kind of changed in the yeah. terms of that, let's say, being a certain size mm -hmm. isn't really a thing anymore. Or it's, it's getting pushed away now. Right. Whereas when we were maybe younger a few years ago, it that was, might have been the thing. So do you feel absolutely. like that's helped you and your mindset thinking, you know, I don't need to be this size yeah. or this weight? In a way, yes. In a way, yes. Um, seeing like curvier women, yeah. it was like, oh, okay. Instead of me trying to run away from what I naturally am, mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm Mexican and Persian. Like mm -hmm. we're just naturally like curvy women. Mm -hmm. And I would try to go against the grain and I would try and like not be that. And it's like, Why? Whereas now people Our will, will literally pay for it. Literally, for it. literally, which teach their own, like, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, but exactly. it's one of those things where I knew it was time. If I was going to reach my goals and be the best I could be, mm. I had to start with that. I had to get rid of that addiction. I had, yeah. to, I had to get that out of my life mm. because I couldn't progress if I was still doing it. There's no way. It would be a mess. So it's like, I'm really glad you recognized that. And yeah, I mean, you know, I had to. I had to. I, there was just goals that I wanted to achieve that are now coming yeah. to fruition. Yeah. You know, and um, even you know, emotionally and mentally, mm. there were things that I had to change. And you know, in your 20s, you're gonna make mistakes, and you're gonna, you know, life mm. is gonna test you mm -hmm. throughout your whole life, really. But during that time, it's such a pivotal time yeah. to to learn and it and is. to really figure out what you want to do with yourself and your life mm -hmm. and not only professionally but emotionally yeah, too as a person yeah thank you so much for sharing that with us oh, of course because i feel like a lot of people that follow you mm -hmm. just would have never known that about you because i didn't and I yeah think I, it's so nice to normalize you know what we all go through things that we yeah, all go through in life absolutely so really thank no you no no that. oh yeah absolutely and i I think overall, it's just important. It doesn't matter if 
you're thin, if you're mm. curvy, it doesn't matter yeah. as long as you're healthy in more ways than one. Yeah. You know, you need to be healthy here and you need to be healthy here, yeah. you know. So that's really what's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you also work out with Miguel, so your we husband, do. and I do want to talk a little bit about we your do. husband. Yes. So I've seen a couple of joint works workouts on, I've seen one on YouTube, I think, and I think I've maybe seen a few on yeah. Instagram. Is that something you'll be doing more of, some more joint workouts? You know, we, okay, so we go through these, um, like, personal, like, checkouts. So we'll be like, so what do you, I'll be like, so what do you think we should do more of? Or like, and then he'll ask me, uh. and... Uh, or what would you like us to do more together? Like, yeah. we'll ask each other that. Yeah. And so, like, a month and a half ago, we did our little check-in with each other. And I was like, I want us to work out more with each other. Cause That's he'll, such a nice thing to do together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because he'll let me go first, like, when our trainer comes. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll let me go first, and then he'll come out, and he'll do his thing. And I'm like, no, maybe once a week we should, like, do it together. Yeah. You know, because when we do do it together, it's, like, randomly or, like, We'll be on vacation and we're, we go to the gym together. Um, but now we're going to try and make it more of like a, a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's kind of a way for you to, to see each other because you must. Yeah. Both it's, being so busy. How do you actually even see each other? It's hard. And it's really odd because so we got married in November. Mm -hmm. And before that, like our thing was we won't go two weeks without seeing each other. That was like our thing. Right. Yeah. Now. We're like five days in and we're like, oh, my God, this is torture. I'm you like, two oh. are just so loved up and I'm obsessed. I, like tomorrow I'm going to see him and it's been like a week and a half and I'm like, I'm dying. <laughs> like I need to see him. I know. I'm just absolutely obsessed with you two. You, you got married last year uh -huh. and the wedding looked incredible. And Thank I want to talk you. about that a little bit later on. But how is married life? How is it going? Married life. It. It's not different, yeah, but it is different. Mm -hmm. It's this uh, intangible thing that I can't. It's hard for me to to say what it is, yeah. But it feels different. It feels more rooted. Mm -hmm. um, I feel more. I don't. I don't want to say confident because I was confident before, but yeah. I feel more free to focus on the things that I'm doing because I know that we're so solid. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's just like this, you're just like, okay, like that's good. Mm -hmm. Like I feel really good and, and we're way more, um, uh, what is the word? Communicative. Like we're, yeah. we're very like, like I was saying, and we're like, okay, so let's do our little check-in. Like what do you want to do more yeah. of? Like what do you want? Like there's, we're constantly working on us and mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's not always easy. It's, yeah, our road has never been easy, and I think people think it is, but it has never been easy. Um, we've always had to work on us and mm -hmm. ourselves, but it's definitely now to a point where we can voice it mm -hmm. instead of holding things in. And it's just like, well, what do you need? What do you want? Or like, how are you feeling? Yeah. Like, we're at that point, yeah. and it feels really good. And tell me about the journey. How long have you guys actually been together? Because I've <laughs> we, heard it's a while. A while. Wow. So it'll be 14 years in October. So, and then now I don't know, do I say how many years we've been together or just the wedding? What do I, like, what do I, I say? I feel like definitely, <laughs> like, like, we, we want to know the backstory. So if okay, anyone okay. has so a relationship, years, like, that's yeah. a strong relationship. Yeah. I mean, it looks yeah. like it from the outside. Oh my God, no. It's like, yeah. and every year, you know, you're, you're still building, you know, you're still building that strong relationship, yeah. right? Because hopefully you both are, growing and evolving yeah. and with that comes a lot of change so you have to constantly be checking in mm -hmm. and and you know seeing what's going on in their world even though yeah. you're in the same world mm -hmm. you're still two different people you know yeah, exactly and especially in, in our um you know what we do in your industry yeah. yeah like things are constantly moving and going and you're it's not stop right mm -hmm. so it's you got to remember to check in mm -hmm. no and matter what you do how did you guys actually meet how did we I was I'm in hoping his, for a funny story. <laughs> I was in his very first music video. Were you? Yeah. When he was like an independent artist. No. Like yeah, his music was just on MySpace. And I actually my agent I remember sent me the casting. I wish I would have saved it. I wish I would have saved that email. But they <laughs> just called to show him. Right. Just yeah. to like have it. 
And um, yeah, I got a call. My agent's like, so this new artist, his name's Miguel. They're casting for his video. Do you want to go in for it? And I was like, who is this? <laughs> do I really want to go do this right now? I'm tired. I'm like, and I lived. I love that. I still lived at home, like outside right, of LA. Yeah. So it was a drive for me each time. Something told me to go. And like I went, I, I ended up going and obviously, and I ended up booking it. But honestly, at first I was like, like, oh, another music video. Like, what am I yeah. doing? I don't really want to be doing this. Like, this isn't, you know. Yeah. But something told me to go and I went. Yeah. And it all happened from there. Because I actually, I'm sure I've read a different story. So I feel like I've actually got the full exclusive from Naz. I thought that, you guys met in a, in a bar or something. No, no, no. We, that we came met, later. That, that was later. <laughs> um, no, we met for the video. Wow. And then I actually interviewed him on his video set. He was doing like a behind the scenes. No way. And they they had me stay and interview him so that we connected Do you think he there. set that up? <laughs> Uh, you know what? I've never asked him. You need that. to ask him when you go home that's and let me know, girl. Okay, that, I need to know. That's I think a great he did it. Question. <laughs> because his manager at the time was the one that pulled me aside and was like, "You know, do you think you could interview him?" But actually, I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> I might have just uncovered the start you, of the you, love, you might and have. it was all planned no from Miguel. Oh my god, oh. that is crazy. Mm -hmm. And so you're all into astrology. Yes, and I love it. You know, we see all the, the quotes that you share on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. You're very in touch with that side. So yes. would you say that the stars aligned with you and Miguel? Um, stars aligned. Are you what's your star signs? Are they like I'm, compatible? I'm a, yes. So I'm a Virgo, he's a Scorpio. Yes, Ooh. we are a good balance. Very good balance. There we He's go. Virgo and Scorpio. Scorpio, all you Vir I'm Virgos very, out there. I'm very like grounded and yeah. um, I pull him down because, you know, he's creative and yeah. he's imaginative and, you know, we all need that balance. And I also need that creative yeah. part too, you yeah. know? So it's it's a really, really, really good dynamic. It works for us. So. It's working. Yeah, it's working. Okay, well. and tell me about the wedding. I've just, I've been waiting. Oh. I've been holding this one in. It looked incredible. It was honestly, and I know a lot of people say this about their weddings, but it was one of the best days ever. Despite like, you know, family's family. Yeah. And there's always <laughs> going to be some drama. And there definitely was. Wow. Um, But besides that, it's mm -hmm. like everybody put all that aside. Yeah. And the morning was crazy, like getting ready mm. was nuts. But right when sunset hit and we so we all took these um, SUVs down to the ceremony because it was on like a field. And it's like once we got in the SUVs, everything that all like the drama and like whatever was happening at that yeah. time, nothing mattered, like nothing and like we all got out of the cars and then the music started and like that was it. And like the wow. ceremony was so incredible. It, it's one of the best moments of my life for sure. Like for sure. It was just so genuine mm -hmm. and real and honest. And we had no, no phones. Really? No one was allowed to bring their phones to the wedding at all. Oh, there was okay. no social media. There was nothing. There was nothing. There were no distractions. And that's how we wanted it. Yeah. It was just like everybody was there for that purpose. Yeah. Not to post anything. Yeah. Just to celebrate real love. That's, that's all so we wanted from people. We didn't want anything yeah. else. So. Yeah. And Vogue were also there as well. Yes. They covered it. I mean, so they, wow. They covered it. Vogue got the exclusive. How was that? It was a, honestly a dream. Like, that's a dream. That Vogue is. is a dream. Such a big moment for both of you guys. Yes. It was such a dream. Um, I think it was like four days before the wedding. Mm -hmm. They followed us to capture like the lead up to the actual yes, day. Yes, I actually watched that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. and it was, that was actually a highlight for sure. Yeah. You know, to have their camera crew and uh -huh. then to really capture the moments of like us working That's out. It. and it's like something you can always look back on. His ring, like he designed his ring. I mean, I saw that. he's Tell so hands on. It. Like yeah. he knew that he wanted something that was spiritual something that gave him good energy mm. and you know that he would have forever so yeah he did his thing and he had designed my ring too so he did yeah oh yeah, yeah let's yeah, let's just have a quick he, look i mean i've noticed it since the moment we stepped in the room it's, it's beautiful thank you show, can we show the camera can we? 
Can we have a look <laughs> look at that ring? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> no, he did his thing. He I really didn't even give him references at all. No way. He's just good at the, he's good at like everything. I don't know. <laughs> like you guys are just perfect. Absolutely. We're not, perfect. but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and did did you see the images, the Vogue images before they went live? Because I've heard oh, they kind girl, of Vogue there put was things... a story with Oh that. come on, tell me. Um, this might be this might be an exclusive too, I'm not sure. Oh. Um, so our wedding was Saturday. Mm -hmm. We had to turn in pictures. Pictures had to be in Monday morning. Like, had to be in Monday morning for Vogue. I had to, on Sunday, I had to go through 15,000 pictures hung over. I think I was still drunk. I think I well, was I mean, still you're, you're drunk. Well, I mean, you're definitely allowed to be a, on that weekend. Yeah. We didn't sleep. So we, morning came, we got breakfast to the, at the house, and it was yeah. like him and I went through I've seen every single wedding picture from our wedding. Oh my God. And we finished at 1 a.m. that night, from the morning till 1 a.m. No. Yeah. It was, it was so into, I can't, like, he fell asleep. Thank God. I, poor thing. He was so tired, but I, like, I had, I had to, <laughs> you've keep, got to I know had, what's going on. Yeah. I had to, like, I'm so hands on. Like, yeah. I needed to see every picture that was going to be in vogue like i was yeah. like no like i need to approve we need to send these out like yeah. it was great it was madness and then we had to like approve the video like it was just a lot it was so much and how did you feel with the overall what came out in the end oh it like we were the, blown away the best case scenario yeah like they vogue killed it killed yeah. it the video they captured just so many real and and sweet moments and then you know, the pictures, like our photographer, Sarah, she was amazing. We had Emmeline. Yeah. She was amazing. Emmeline actually yes, shoots for PLT. Emily. Hi, Emily. Yes. And she's listening. Oh, she killed it. She was in there, like, wow. doing her thing. So, yeah, I mean, they were the only ones that captured the wedding. And mm -hmm. I had my phone on me. So I had my – actually, my personal trainer was in the ceremony, like, in a seat filming the whole thing because I wanted it on my phone. Yeah. Um, and then I had my phone all night, but no one else. I it, love that. it was yeah, it was like super, super, super like exclusive. All phones were taken away. So that is amazing. Yeah, I think it was definitely the wedding of the year, which Thank we predicted. You. We Thank did predict you. the last time we spoke. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now Miguel has called you wild at heart before. Uh huh. So I want to know what yeah. does it mean. Is there a meaning? Are you a wild nurse? There's, <laughs> I, I definitely have that side to me, and there's, yeah. oh, I think, I think only two people that can bring that out, and that he is one of them, mm -hmm. and my cousin is the other one. Oh, um, yeah, she comes out. She's slowing down right now. No, because she's tired. She's tired. Yeah, but when she's had a, a, a bit more sleep, she may come. She out might again. come back out. <laughs> like if there's like a Vegas trip coming up, she probably will come back out. Uh, right now she's very focused and she is very tired. Okay. Like I wanna I want to sleep more, but I, I can't. Yeah. Um so going out uh -huh. it, it takes a lot for me to go out. Like a lot. <laughs> and you <laughs> do this weekend. I'm so glad you did it in Manchester. I know, I know. I'm you know what I'm glad we did. Was she out then? Or was that No, tame? she was she was like she was cool. Oh well, I need to see you out. Messy at some we point. they call her Messy Mandy. See? She Messy Mandy was cool. This weekend. She drank a lot. She had at least five shots and some other, you know, drinks. But, like, I was cool. Now, my cousin, on the other hand. <laughs> Is she the one that brings it out in you? Yes. Right. She's the other one that brings it out of me. Um, she loved Manchester. <laughs> she had a great time. I feel like you full on need to show me some pictures and videos after this podcast. Oh, please. I'll show, you. I'll show you some videos. <laughs> she had a great time. Okay, and you and Miguel mm -hmm. always look so flawless. When you step on a red carpet, Thank you. you guys are just like dressed amazingly. So Thank I want to know, do you kind of have an input on what you both wear to events? Or does he kind of Ooh, have that, that creative this side? Is, no, this is a great question, actually. Um, it's kind of a meeting of the minds, right? Because he has his own style, mm -hmm. and he's his own creative. Yeah. You know, he 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 knows what he loves. Like when it comes, to, especially when it comes to fashion, like he knows what, what looks yeah. good on him. He loves it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm also the same as well. So at this point, I have my stylist Danny. Okay. And um, she's incredible. And now it's like she'll bring the racks, and I'll pick stuff. 
and I'll try it on. And he will walk downstairs and be like, okay, so what are your, like, your, what are your top three? What are you thinking? Mm-hmm. And I'll show him what I have. And then he's like, okay. And then his team will come together with mine. Wow. But now I kind of think he's going to work with Danny, which I'm excited <gasps> about. So now we'll have like the same. So we're going to see some cute couple pics yeah, coming out. Yeah, some for outfits. sure. For sure. So yeah, I'm excited. Exciting. Yeah. Okay. And we spoke about your film that yes. you worked on. You actually had a baby bump for oh, one of the yeah, films. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because you posted that on Instagram. Yes. That was actually for... The Last Conception. For yeah. the last, oh, for The Last Conception. And this movie, I'm telling you, it's a lot of twists and turns, Ooh, ups wow. and downs. I, I mean, I can't wait to watch yeah, it. it's going to be good. But, so I want to know, I'm sure a lot of fans when they saw that pic might have absolutely lost their heads. Is there any ideas of children yet or are you just not even thinking about it? I am thinking about it. It's always in, in the back of my head, yes. Yeah. Absolutely, because I do, um, eventually, we want children, of course. Yeah. Um, but right now, it's, I mean, it's not realistic. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. 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 And it's not fair either. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to bring a child in if I'm not going to give that child a thousand percent because yeah. it deserves it. Yeah. You know, it deserves all of my attention as much as I can give. Mm-hmm. Um, and right now I'm just finally at that place where yeah. like my career, like I feel it, you know, I, I can feel the trajectory. I can feel it. And I don't I don't want to interfere with that just yet. Okay. Yeah, but it is, it's uh, totally is. Like, yeah. I want kids. He wants kids. Mm-hmm. Like, we've, we definitely talk about this. This is something that's talked about, but. All right. <gasps> Just not <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but what is next? I feel like that is always a question people ask, you know, what what is next? I hear you're working on a podcast. Yes. So my cousin Nadia and I have a podcast. Amazing. It comes out. We're like Jul- podcast sisters. I know. I know. That's why this Brought is like so natural. It's yeah. great. Uh, we come out July 9th. Wow, exciting. Okay. Yes. So much coming out in July. Oh, girl. Girl, you're so lot. busy. Yes. <laughs> so our podcast is called Ladies Like Us. Oh, I love And that. it's a platform, you know, for all women. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we talk about issues that we've been through. It's very relatable. It's very funny. And, um, you know, we're just giving you our take on life and how we've dealt with certain things mm-hmm. and you can take it and le- or leave it yeah but you will somebody can relate to it yeah exactly and find humor in whatever we're saying oh, so i can't wait yeah it's gonna be good okay and anything else exciting we can look out for we've yeah. got the single coming the out single i mean you've dropped so much already july 12th um one of my films comes out in the fall i have another one coming out next year young and the restless came out in may Okay, so yeah. that's already out. So we need to go and watch that if you haven't yeah. already. Yeah, if you haven't already. And um, you know what? I actually am expanding my fitness brand. Ooh. And I have a new product coming out. It's called Infinity Booty. And it's to build and maintain your booty. And it is a resistant band. Okay. And it's shaped you know, in the infinity sign. Amazing. And it's, you know, workouts that you can do for your lower body, but yeah. I've also made it where you can work out your upper body as well. So it's multifunctional. Mm-hmm. It's super girly and cute. So that's coming out this year too. Do you know what? I'm going to go and get me one of those. I'm yeah, not going to lie. It's, it's easy to travel. <laughs> like I had to make something easy to travel with because, yeah. you know, I'm never really home. No, that's it. So I need something I could throw in my bag and get an amazing workout mm-hmm. with you know it's so important yeah you're gonna reach your goals fitness wise but you gotta maintain yeah. them yeah exactly so i wanted to make something that we can maintain our booties with yeah. well i'm just excited for everything it sounds like you're absolutely killing the game now well i can see you're killing the game so congratulations you. to you it's been absolutely amazing having you on the podcast but before you go mm-hmm. i want to end this podcast with one thing that people might not know about you. I mean, I feel like we've actually learned a lot, but. That might not know yeah. about me. Oh my gosh. Like what, something. Anything at all. Quirky or like. Oh, yeah. I'm really afraid of escalators. Like I'm really afraid, I hate that. There you go, there's one thing that I, I guarantee I, none of us knew about you. A lot of people don't know that. Actually, a lot of people in my circle probably don't know that. Like every time I step on an escalator, I'm like, oh my God, like my shoelace is gonna get caught and it's gonna So you, like, do, you can go on them. But yeah, I go on them, yeah. 
but I hate them. I hate them. They give me anxiety. I hate them. Well, I, I love. I, I, no, I don't <laughs> love the fact that you get anxiety from escalators. But I love that you shared it with us because I, I think like that it. was quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. Thank That's you. That's a weird much. thing. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Nice. It's thank been you. amazing getting to know you. Thanks for joining us on Behind Closed thank Doors. You for it's been incredible. Me. And thank you to everybody for listening back home. If you have enjoyed Naz's podcast, please leave a review and yeah. subscribe, of course, and let us know what you think. And we will see you next week. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs>